Hi guys, it's Harvey from All Parts. We're gonna. This is Haywood Heat Pro Part Three. Want to touch base on a couple of things. This is the new R410 unit. Okay. We have our pool pump. Remember about hydraulics. Before any 90s, you get minimum four times pipe diameter before you go into the pump. I like to see ten times. We go out of there to the filter, okay? Can't put anything before the filter. Say if you wanted to put a automatic cleaner, you don't want to put it here. It has to be after the filter. But if we wanted to put an automatic cleaner, where would we put it? We would put it after the heater before the chlorinator. Why? Because the pool cleaner takes water away from the heater okay so that if you have any kind of automatic clean or anything else like that it's after the heater that's either heat pump or gas heater because it robs water okay look at the pipe work it's not in front of this front all the pipes is so a mechanic can come here and work on the unit they didn't swing pipe, go from here straight down to here, and pipe work, you know, from over here. They left complete access to this front panel. Nothing's around it. There's 24 inches around here. There's more than 24 inches around here. All right. They're talking about bypass valves. Personally, I don't like bypass valves. Um, I let the water run through it all the time I mean um, reason being is if you bypass it you don't drain it water f falls out chemistry falls out and your pH could go wacky and all over so on the heat pros on the heat pumps it's best to leave the water going through them so I don't like these bypass valves that's one way of putting a bypass valve on now here's something else I want to talk about acid check valve okay look where it's positioned okay here's your chlorinator chlorine gas is capable of going back back up it loves the rocket ship up and likes coming this way but it likes doesn't really like going down okay it's capable of going down but it doesn't like it so that's why they put the I like a positive seal acid check valve in fact I'll send you a link to my website for a positive seal check valve and um, solve, solve some of the back pressure issues PS issues okay because it requires a half a pound to open up and this right here is called the Hartford loop Actually, there's two hard for loops here. I'm pretty good. Uh, the reason why they're talking about a Hartford loop, and they're accepting a Hartford loop, either the check valve or a Hartford loop, some of you new pumps that are certified for anti entrapment, you can't have no check valves in the system. Okay? So, if you can't have no check valves in the system, manufacturers had to go and say, what we're going to do. So, on a Hartford loop, I would do a, if you don't have a pump that requires a, doesn't, you know, doesn't require one, I'd still put a check valve in. Also, would do the Hartford loop. But, say we had a pump that wanted not to have an acid check valve. You had a chlorinator. Chlorine gas will go this way, that way, this way. Does the light go down? Okay. Really does the light go down? And always run your pump 24-7. Best way to do it. Never just shut them down. Always run them. Alright guys. Remember. Read and understand your manual. Okay. I'm just touching base on a couple of pages, a couple of pet peeves of mine. 
all right and remember all pool equipment should be bonded to the pool all right take care